Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm not going to wear this mask throughout the entire video, this geeky weekend show-and-tell. I do want to show you and tell you about this amazing mask that I have. Uh, it's not a DIY, it's a DIY. buy Someone else DIY'd it. I di bite it. Uh, and it's pretty comfortable. Uh, apart from when you pull the straps too tight, then it doesn't get too comfortable. Uh, I opt to wear this uh, thin protection uh, fabric, uh, even though there is a, a small protection there. I don't think that's enough protection for me. I mean, I want to protect others. That's the reason why you wear a mask in public during these times. So I, I'm taking advantage of it because, you know, after we're past this period of time where, you know, you have to go back to not wearing masks. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to go back to not wearing a mask? Come on. Come on. Live a little. More importantly, let others live a little. That's the idea. So I'm going to have fun. Uh, and uh, this is not the only Vader mask, of course, that I, I have. You've seen the others. Uh, but this is by far the coolest. I don't know if it was 3D printed. It's a hard material. Picked it up on Etsy. It took like two or three months for them to make and it just arrived uh it does take you know some getting used to uh, especially if you're used to wearing uh, just simple fabric uh, cloth masks uh, but i tell you uh everyone else seems to enjoy the heck out of this no one doesn't not know wh who this is no one doesn't not know everyone knows who this is no one knows who this is that's the idea right uh it was really cool it was a for the Mask it was Vader's the whole thing. So, was, so I feel like I'm protecting others from my spittle, including you. That's one of the reasons why you probably tune into the videos, so that uh, I don't breathe on you in person. Some of you have been lucky enough to have my spittle cast upon you because I have breathed on you before. You know, because I've met some of you in person. Uh, I do, I do leave the house uh, every so often, if only to get more beer. Mm. A very fine, very, very fine Imperial Stout. Uh, I'm breaking a sweat because it's summer. And it's been really temperate here in Seattle this summer. I'm happy about that. But I'm very, very um, upset because uh, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, if I wear this masks, uh, this masks, okay, these masks, there we go. I, I think I salvaged that little verbal typo. Uh, spiders are here. <laughs> And this year is worse than most. I don't know if it's because it's been uh, generally uh, more uh, moist. You know, some people have a problem with that word. Moist. It's, what? what? Moist. It, it's, it's like a cake outside. It's so thick with humidity. Not as bad as, uh, you know, where I grew up. But still, it's, it's pretty bad. So one of the gadgets that I'm, 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 I'm very excited to get, I don't think I'm going to like showcase it in the Geeky Weekend Show and Tell, uh, a dehumidifier. <laughs> it's been years since I've used one, uh, but we have, we have a dehumidifier on order. It's like a 50 pint uh, tank automatically dump into a drain pipe connection thing. Uh, and, and I think we need it. Even if we don't have like high humidity, it'll just be enough. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to getting that and, and uh, you know, turning it on and wicking away some of this moisture. Like, getting it to, to go... Can I say wick? Just getting rid of it, eliminating it, and then draining it, get, get, getting it out. Because uh, air conditioning just doesn't help. I mean, it does, a lot, but it doesn't do enough. I needed to do more, so we're getting dehumidifier. That's the next... That's the big... I know a lot of people only want to hear about technology. Well, there you go, dehumidifier. What other technology do you need in the middle of summer, apart from an air conditioner, which we have, and if you listen, you can hear it. It's blowing. The answer, my friend, it's blowing in the wind. It's actually, it's not the wind. It's the, it's the vent. It's blowing air out from the air conditioning unit. Eh. I don't know where we'd be without air conditioning. Uh, I also don't know where I would be if it wasn't for my daughter. Last weekend was Father's Day. Wanted to do a video uh, uh, during the weekend. Just didn't happen. Uh, kind of got busy. And I know you're thinking, busy with what? Well, I've been organizing and reorganizing, as I've been mentioning to you. Uh, building shelves to house more awesome Star Wars stuff. Uh, the card that I got from Jedi is an amazing card. You can't buy it, though. This is definitely a DIY. And I, I think this is a, it's, it's fascinating to me to see what's in her mind. So... Uh, I, I don't know if I have the full translation of this, but the, the first thing I noticed is probably the first thing that everybody noticed uh, with this card. 
and that is a spider. Like, <laughs> and it's amazing. The sp the spider literally has what is it, nine legs, not just eight, nine. Like, the, I don't know what she's thinking. Like, you know, what, what can I do to like freak him out more? Like, I'm gonna. Well, it's not that I talk about spiders all that much. I mean, there there have been spiders here, so I don't know if that's what's on her mind when when she drew this, but. Either way, that's that's my Father's Day card. I think that's that's me. I think those are my glasses, and that's Jedi there. And we're smiling. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. I don't know. If, I don't like if I rip my shirt off and like those, those are my nipples, my purple nipples that are exposed. I I I'm the kind of guy. Apart from like when I swap T-shirts, man, I I'm the kind of guy who wears clothes certainly around the house. Uh, <laughs> we all do. It's what we do. I don't care how hot I am. Uh, so, uh, anyway, and I don't mean, like, hot, like, beefcake, because, duh, uh, I mean, like, <laughs> summer, why? Why? <laughs> so I gotta find any kind of tool, anything, that will make summer more bearable. Eliminating spiders, that's the number one reason I got the dehumidifier, because they didn't like the moisture, but the second reason is this one. Uh, so next, what we have, what do we have? Okay. Uh, thrifting. It's back on. Stores are back open again. So, I found this. This will be a nice little winter cap. Huh? You've heard of Baby Yoda. What about not Baby Yoda? Old Yoda? Old Baby? Okay. Uh, anyway, it's only a couple bucks. I'm like, sure, I don't think I had it. Well, you know, it's a nice little winter cap. You know, if I'm going out, you know, don't, don't feel like, you know, putting on a ball cap. I'll just throw this on. I need to wear a cap. I probably should, be, and the reason why is because I've got the I've got the haircut that needs to happen. Luckily, we have that gadget. Uh, Diana's going to be slicing my hair, possibly even today. So I, I'm, I should have waited until I got the haircut. She's been cutting my hair for a year, two years now. She does an amazing job. Spent we thirty bucks on the clippers. Uh, like we just went to wire cutter and um, it, it looked up the best uh, the best uh, bang for the buck. Got it. Haven't had a problem with it at all. Uh, so, I'm getting my hair cut. Uh, someone who doesn't need to get their hair cut, Ponda Baba. Not just regular old Ponda Baba. The Chase. This is the variant. This is the one that was impossible to find. And so I found it online. As I find most things online. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful to have this. This uh, makes a complete Pop Pez Star Wars collection for me. And uh, I also have the blue snaggletooth that I got like a, a couple years ago when I when I wasn't able to get it in. I think it was in a, a Smuggler's Bounty. I think that was an exclusive. It was also a chase, the blue snag. And so uh, I, I have a complete collection. This this makes a complete collection. I couldn't find it in stores, which is really sad. That's, that's the way it is. Uh, and actually, speaking of stores, uh, there's a store called Ollie's. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, Ollie's has uh, discounts, and we don't have an Ollie's here. And I follow a variety of Star Wars communities, and like one of them posts all the time saying, "Oh, look what I found at Ollie's." Do you live near an Ollie's at all? Do you know what I'm talking about, Ollie's? Anybody? Well, if you do live near an Ollie's, let me know. And the reason why is because right now they've got a series of Hot Wheels that were not readily available when they were in real retail. Uh, but these are starting to pop up. And this one I did not get at Ollie's. This one I, I just found it. Finally, someone had a good price for it on eBay, like 11 bucks. I'm like, okay, I got I have to, I've got to try to get it because otherwise, you know, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it. So this one is one of the more challenging ones to find, previous series. And uh, this is RQ, or sorry, R, R2Q5. And also in this series, Jar Jar Binks and R5-D4. Now, my brother Adam got me the R5-D4 for Christmas, and I ended up getting Jar Jar Binks online. Uh, usually I get two, one to open, one to keep in box. This one's going to stay in the box, right here. This droid, even though I want to open it, I only have one. So if you live near an Ollie's, you may have this Jar Jar Binks and R5-D4 on those shelves. Super, super cheap, uh, and I'd be willing to pay for, for a lot of things. If you see something that I might want, you let me know. I'll be like, hey, if you don't get it, I'll, I'll get it and I'll pay you. That's how it goes. Uh, speaking of new Hot Wheels, also, ones that I'm afraid are never going to hit retail, uh, people are finding them and they're selling them online for jacked up rates. For, so for right around 10 bucks again, uh, I got Ning Nung. Uh, this is a new one. 
in the new series, and uh, this is one that I was kind of hoping they'd eventually have. I have another one on, on, on order right now to open, um, and I'm glad because this one arrived with a crunched bubble. That was kind of annoying. Uh, otherwise, I would say it's it, mint enough to keep on card. Uh, so this one I may very well be opening right here. You got it? You got a good, got a good look? And I know you're thinking, Chris, well, that's en enough, enough of these aliens. Enough of the droids. Get to the Mandos. Hmm? Hmm? This, this one's heavy. It's, it's a very, this is a very heavy one. Why? Because uh, it's the uh, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian right here. Now, I already had the Mandalorian, um, th that one right there. I already had that one at the top. That was a part of a previous series with uh, the Sith Trooper and what else was new in that series? Sith Trooper and Jet Trooper. The White Jet Trooper, not the Sith Jet Trooper. Mm. This one, also, I have not found it retail yet. I'm, I mean, retail is just impossible. As a collector, you just can't count on it. And that's it's anger-inducing. I do not have another one of these on order. So if you go to a store that has a heavy uh, infantry Mandalorian that you see... You let me know, please, please, because I'd rather pay you, uh, you know, four dollars plus shipping and handling the jacked up rates on on uh, online websites. So for some reason or another, I stumbled upon this, and this was um, something that was a part of the, the series of Happy Meal toys. Apparently, uh, how how many years ago? Not even not even six months ago. Yes. Yeah, oh my God. We're that far into 2020, almost halfway through. Uh, so they had the Happy Meal toys, and I didn't realize, even though they had a Darth Vader, I usually, I you know, I, I focus on the Darth Vader stuff, and uh, thought that I was done. And then for some reason, this hit my radar, and this is a different Darth Vader, different style, uh, different in red, and the Palpatine uh, was also not in the, the, the Happy Meal series in boxes, and Darth Maul wasn't either. So this was a special edition. This was a Dark Side Saga set. I had no idea this existed. And it was pretty cheap. Like, for, for all that it was worth. I only got one of them, even though I'd be inclined to get two. Uh, if only because, you know, to, to have one to take out of the box. I, you know, I, I do my best to keep things in the box if I think, you know, I'd like to have them showcased and displayed. And this is a, a perfect set to, uh, to to really showcase and display, especially because they are unique. Uh, fun toys. I think they could have done a better job with the toys. There could have been a, a bit more uh, toyetic nature in the toys. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I persisted. <laughs> so anyway, got that. And you got to remember, this is like, I think the, the most recent Geeky Show and Tell I did, Geeky Weekend Show and Tell, was three weeks ago. For some reason, I keep doing this like every three weeks. I don't know why. Mm. I just get busy. Uh, that, that said, um, my uh, a lot of my work that I've been doing, uh, you know, in my off hours has been basically wrapped up. Uh, as of this past week. So you know, I may be going back to weekly. I until then, I'm going to shoot the moon and show you everything I picked up over the past three weeks. Uh, stores are open again. Uh, Funko started, uh, and I, this was probably going to be bigger than it actually was, uh, they, it, with bobbleheads. And some of the uh, first Star Wars bobbleheads were these blocks. Now, I had the Darth Vader one right there in the back, the Darth Vader blocks. Uh, the Stormtrooper I didn't have. And it's it's kind of a, it's it's like a flat, can I... I don't want to walk over there and get it because then, you know, waste your time. I don't want to waste your time. Uh, got it at half price books for 10 bucks, And I thought it was a pretty decent deal, especially w within the box. I got this one right here. And also, I'm just going to show you at the same time. Yeah? Huh? I got the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper blocks. Bobbles. Because I already had the Vader. I had the Vader in the box and I already had a Vader out of the box. So I didn't get, I didn't get a third one. You know, I could have gotten another Vader, but, you know, I, I stopped myself. Just just going with these two. Huh? Can't have too many of these, especially it was a limited series, so I've got the full series now. Kind of grateful for that. Uh, you know, I wouldn't consider half-price books thrifting. Although, I would say it's it's in that territory in terms of pricing, because you can find some pretty good deals uh, at uh, half-price books. Uh, if you can get there and your store has decent inventory. It just kind of depends. Some people have had better luck than, than I have. But when I'm in the area, when I'm shopping for something, I'm like, yeah, I'll stop in. I'll see what's going on. And I'm glad I did because otherwise I wouldn't have had it. Of course, you know, I, I, my life would have been complete even without them. But, you know, now that I'm building all these shelves or got all these shelves put up, I, you know, I got to put stuff on them. Can't have empty shelves, man. No fun in that. Okay, so next... 
Uh, I support R2KT, and because of doing that, uh, I, they sent me a whole bunch of stickers for free. A couple stickers and a couple cards. If you're not familiar with R2KT uh, story, I'm not going to go uh, too deep into the backstory. Uh, suffice it to say, it is a, a great organization uh, to support, and uh, they have um, they, they've produced officially licensed stuff. There was a, a R2KT Hot Wheels. Which I don't think I ever got the R two R two K. It was a it was an exclu it was a, con a convention exclusive, um, and then look at that, uh, Hello Kitty, droid, like R two K T, kind of cool. These are the stickers. I'm afraid I don't want to show Jedi because then she'll use them. I'm like no 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 no. So I'm I know that's that's it's kind of the you know, the opposite of what I should be doing. But maybe in, in, in my next order, uh, I, I'll I'll grab a couple of other stickers and then I won't feel as bad if I. Uh, if I, if, if, if she uses the stickers. Until then, it goes into my R2KT collection. I'm going to show you a couple of other patches. This, this came with a, the, my, my particular order. So I ordered all the, uh, the outstanding patches. Hug, you still, I can. Hashtag stay safe with the force. Or hug you with the force, really. That's Baby Yoda and R2KT. We also have the R2KT Ambassadroids International badge. Patch. Then we have uh, let's see where do I start it? Pink Imperial the pink Imperial droid with the heart of gold. Hmm. Oh, sorry, my the Yoda ears were like right in the frame. Look at that. Hmm. 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 There's no Yoda in that. Uh, Ahsoka, may the fourth be with you, and Captain Rex with R two K T. They had a whole bunch of patches. This one isn't embroidered all the way through, but still rather nice. Then we also have Droids Need Hugs 2, uh, R2KT.com, the R2KT fan club with Wall-E. See, I guarantee you, as soon as Jedi sees these, she's going to want all of them. But she won't, I mean, I, if, we, if we put these on her shirt, she wouldn't wear them, which is just really bizarre. Uh, Hope is the strongest force, R2KT, and here's Samantha Aline. And then another Baby Yoda, uh, kindness is never small, this is the way, r2kt.com. I may have to order double patches. I may. If, 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 she, if Jedi would, if I find out she would wear them on a shirt, then, then I'd get to. Uh, just so that the, these embroidered patches, the really nice quality, um, you know, could actually be worn instead of just collected. But the money went to a good cause. r2kt.com. And I've got a couple of challenge coins uh, from R2KT that are in the process of being minted uh, that will hopefully be here soon, and I will I will show them to you as soon as I get them, as is my custom. Hmm. Maybe the beer is cooling me down. Uh, as I was surfing, for some reason, I ran across this. I never had one. Didn't have one until recently. Uh, a Darth Vader tin. Let's see here. Return From Return of the Jedi. You remember, you remember Darth Vader? You remember him? Like a lesser known character. Tin's in decent shape. There was probably better available, but like in terms of the price, like I would say pretty decent. Like this is a vintage tin. Like it's old. I would say as old as me, but I am definitely still older. Okay. Next. Found this thrifting for three bucks. Inbox. Uh, Jedi has one. We haven't brought it out all that often because she, she's... She hasn't, she hasn't figured out how to trace yet. Uh, light up tracing pad, brand new, inbox, never open, swear. And we had one that I got that I also thrifted, but this is like three bucks. I'm like, okay, I can't pass that up. I can't. I just can't. Uh, light up tracing pad, Crayola, back when they did a lot of Star Wars stuff. They, they haven't been doing much lately. Um, but uh, this is something that, you know, if you're, you're, you're an artist, you probably wouldn't use. But if you're like me and you need help with, like, art and making things, uh, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice thing. We used to do uh, tracing by uh, what, I don't know I can't remember what they were called like a it'd be it it project it, not an overhead projector but kind of like an overhead projector oh, uh, it, except yeah yeah it was basically like an overhead projector and that light bulb man ran so hot oh man way back in the way we're talking like oof. it was it was new tech but it was old tech by then oh man 
it was it was uh uh but we used to trade we used to beam something up on the wall and then uh, uh tape a piece of paper up and then and then trace it and then at the end of the day oh look cool we, tra- we traced it it's pretty neat and what are you gonna do it's a summer day what are you gonna play outside give me a break i'm gonna play outside uh okay what am i gonna grab next Okay, speaking of outside, I guess I'm going to segue into this. Uh, again, I don't know how I, I found this. Oh, I think I was looking for uh, birthday supplies because my birthday is coming up. And, uh, you know, I'm doing the Baby Yoda theme birthday. And and I, I some, this, this, this hit the radar, this uh, uh, water squirter, squirt rings. So basically what you do with these is you take the bubble off or you take the ball off here and it's a little plastic ball. Come on, you're gonna come off. And you you put it in water or beer, and you soak up the water, and you squirt it. And it actually, for as small as it is, you can get distance. Like fun for a little party. These little uh, this is one. It was like a pack of uh, three packs of four, and so uh, party favors. And then, but it, since it, I mean, normally I'd be like, eh, yeah, but it had Darth Vader on it. I'm like, well, it's got Darth Vader on it. Eh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta. And I did, and so uh, so we've got squirters here. So Jedi's got a, a squirter outside. She's also got the Chewbacca um, bowcaster pump action uh, squirter. Man, that thing gets a distance. Let me tell you, it's been a busy three weeks. You thought, you know, oh Chris, you know what have you been doing? Yeah, I've been been collecting. What have you been doing? Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep that one there. A couple comics. Comics slowed way down, of course, because of what's been happening uh, w- within the industry. But we do have a Doctor Afra. Uh, this is Marvel One, so starting over again with Doctor Afra. I w- really would like to see more uh, from from her, this character, uh, well beyond uh, the comic pages, if that was ever deemed worthy. Uh, is that Black Christanton? Is it Christanton? See, when you when you only read names, you you don't know how to say them out loud. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also have Clone Wars, uh, Star Wars Adventures, Battle Tales, right here. Also, uh, this is IDW. The other one was Marvel, uh, but this is uh, out. I really wish that IDW did uh, full-on digital copies of their print editions as well. Uh, they don't, to my knowledge. Uh, you can't redeem them like you can with the uh, the free edition that, that Marvel does. That's kind of disappointing. But you know, what are you going to do? Uh, what am I going to go with next? I already did you. Oh, yeah, there's more. You don't, don't go anywhere. Let me go ahead and put that here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Jedi has, I wouldn't say like the complete collection of itty bitties, the Hallmark itty bitties, but when new ones are released, I try to grab them. Uh, they now, itty bitties, they ne- there's now a Porg. Right there, Porg. Hmm, there you go. Can you see it? If I, if I hold it up this way. Can you see it now? Hmm, Porgy. A new Porg and a different Ahsoka. This is a different one, a different. Uh, she's she's wearing different, uh, different, different clothing, if you will, different design. Also, finally, a Leia in Hoth. We had the Han and we had the Luke. We did not have the Leia, so now we have a Leia. And last but not least, a Tauntaun with a Luke. Yeah. So what I don't understand, even though we had a Tauntaun itty bitty before, which is nice, that scale, the small scale, we didn't have a big Tauntaun. But what I don't understand is why... The, I mean, I do, I do understand, but at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed because it comes with the Luke itty-bitty. And we already had the Luke itty-bitty that came in the four-pack with the Han and the Wampa and the uh, uh, and the, Luke, the Luke and the Tauntaun. The Luke came with the Luke. I think you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so Jedi now has these four, four-ish new itty-bitties. It's not really four. Like, Well, I guess the Tauntaun is... I guess it does count as a four. I look at these more like the itty bitties. The Tauntaun, eh, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's obviously itty bitty, cause, but it's not itty bitty. It's biggie bitty. Biggie bitty? I'm just, I'm coin, turning a phrase here. Is that, what, boy, the white balance. Woo, it is bright in there, isn't it? Was, was Leia looking okay? Sorry. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Then maybe this was just too bright. Sorry. I thought I even turned down the exposure on the, the camera, too. Kind of surprises me. So last week, I learned that there was a, a puzzle available that I wanted to build with Jedi on Father's Day. It didn't happen. 
So I actually, I, I drove like 30 miles away because I wanted to get it to build that day. This right here. So this is a new puzzle, The Mandalorian. Uh, I don't think it's a store exclusive, uh, but I did get it in the store for like six bucks. Uh, Buffalo makes them 100 pieces, so it'll be a quick build. I do plan on opening it and, and building it, but I do want to, I'd rather build it with Jedi because I can fly through puzzles. And, uh, you know, I, I really want to kind of encourage her to have uh, a fun building puzzles as well. She got a Rubik's Cube this past week, and she's been having fun with that. Uh, and I guess her uncle Hector, Diana's brother, can solve a Rubik's Cube. I'm just good with one color. Uh, I'll stick to these kinds of puzzles, thank you very much. But anyway, so this was, uh, this was, this is nice. I like that, I like this kind of puzzle. This will be, be fun. This will be a nice afternoon uh, that hopefully Jedi will join me with in. If I can get her to do it, I don't. I mean, because if it's a baby Yoda, like she she seems to be interested, for the most part. She carries her baby Yoda around with her, not everywhere she goes, but sometimes when she goes out, she'll take baby Yoda. Sorry, the child. And speaking of the child, you can now find at least at Target, uh, two new the child mini coloring books, and the reason they're in cellophane is because they're awesome. No, uh, because they also come with stickers. And the stickers themselves, if I can rotate just like so. No, I don't know if you can get the pattern at all. Well, maybe in the pod on this one. Look at the rainbow circle color pattern there. Oh, yeah, I guess you can see it on this one as well. So kind of like a hologram, hologramish kind of uh, decoration. Holographic. Hologram. Uh, holographic uh, color sheet. Or, or co sticker sheet. Duh, they're colored. Uh, anyway, those are available, just a buck, in Bullseye's Playground. And then also in Bullseye's Playground, oh, we're going shopping. Who wants to go shopping with me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I guess there's a store called Publix that also sells these, a variety of them. I don't near, live anywhere near a Publix. Uh, but if you do and you see unique merch like this, you let me know. Because yeah? I'll go shopping. I can't go that far. You'll have to go shopping for me. Uh, but these bags are now available. These totes. They're like tote. They're totes adorbs. Ah! <laughs> I think I think I think we've got the, the title for our video. Totes adorbs. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. Uh, I'm reaching over to get some scissors because I've had just enough beer. <laughs> mm. Oh. By the way, people might be wondering why am I not doing it live? Because some reason or another, my uh, broadcast tool is not um, it's not working anymore with the YouTube live changes. I, I don't know why. I don't care to like investigate though. <laughs> like I'm like okay, fine. Um, nothing that I do here is necessarily needing to be live. Although I like doing the video here, I may have to move any kind of live video down into the Intel Micro Studio. I'm opening the, I think this is Wave 4 of the uh, uh, Vintage uh, Collection, Episode 9, Vintage Figures Assorted. Hopefully everything's good. How do we look? Oh, we look good. Okay, great. Okay, I got, I got, I got to hold still because I take screenshots and I share them in social. So, let me make my face again, like, that's, that's too much. That's like, no, like, ah, 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 yes, no, like that, is that, is that good, right there, no, I've got, i got to make sure I, I like, wait, ooh, what if, what if I hold it upside down, nothing's going to happen, uh, in here, I mean, I can't say that I was looking forward to any of the figures in this wave, but, you know, to be a completist, it's nice. Uh, we've got a Luke Skywalker Bespin. And, uh, there's two in each of these, uh, in this particular, uh, case. So, I'll go through, uh, later and pull out th the best ones. Although, ooh, that one may be the better of the two. We've also got a C-3PO, and this one uh, looks like a repack. For some reason, it looks like a repack. It may not be, uh, but we got a C-3PO as well. Another C-3PO. Uh, Han Solo Bespin. Reminiscent of Han Solo on Hoth. Of course, from The Empire Strikes Back. Naturally. 
Bespin, Bespin Han. Uh, face sculpts looking decent. And then last but not least, or definite repack, unless they've got a different face sculpt, of Lando Calrissian. Uh, I remember this is a repack uh, from the uh, uh, the Black Series Walmart exclusive boxes. That same scale, three and three a quarter inch. Um, maybe a different face sculpt. But what's always weird is like, why? Look at that, like that, uh, like a, a band, like for his, Do you see a band over here? No band here. Why does he have a band there? Like across this, like the strap right there. Why? There, not there. There, not there. That's one thing they should have updated is that so I, I definitely had this particular figure before uh and you can see that it's this that's a vc 47 this is a vc 50 so these are basically redos they may end up doing i'm vc 06 and then vc 04 yeah they're definitely either yeah they're re-sculpts boy that luke skywalker bestman his his face sculpt is not accurate <laughs> at all he's also looking kind of chunky so am I. So I'm not, like, passing judgment. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that here. I still got more. I know. What? So many of these things I... Some of these things I pre-ordered, like... This, like, the, the itty-bitties I pre-ordered on uh, May the 4th. Like, it's taken that long to get here. Um, and some of these things are definitely not, like, brand new to market. Okay. Just a few more things, folks. Uh, this is one that I'm going to open right now. Uh, actually, here. I'm going to show you these two first. Uh, they are part of a GameStop exclusive series, unfortunately. And I say that because it tends to be a bit more expensive. One. And two, uh, sometimes they can be very difficult to find. Uh, we have a Stormtrooper Commander and a Shadow Stormtrooper. Whoa. Uh, I love that they are like different colors, right? As opposed to like the, the classic red. But the Black Series is about to go through a, a, a box branding reboot anyway. Uh, a long overdue. So I'm very, very happy to have uh, both of these. And so very, very happy to be opening this one right now. I know, I don't open... I, I can't... If I, if I like, opened every figure that I got here, I'd be here, like, forever. Plus, I like to try to take my time with this stuff, usually. Um, and since I don't do, like, full-on action figure reviews, or just reviews in general, that's kind of what I gotta do. Okay, hang on. boop doop I know where he's going. Okay, so we've got the blasters, right? I'm not going to showcase the blasters. That's not, in my humble opinion, what's interesting here. What's interesting... <laughs> it's almost like Star Wars meets Tron. It's like translucent, blue, uh, like, detail. That's just... Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, man. I never played the game. Or maybe I did briefly, um, but man, <sighs> of course you know it's articulated everywhere: elbows, joints, knee, or elbows, knees, your know, joints, uh, top torso, head, swivel, um, legs, twist too. Yeah, makes it easier to stand. I hate when I get to the point yeah you can I, I was trying to look underneath the armor but man what this one wins forget the sculpts this one just wins on paint app like this is just it, this is stellar stellar okay shadow stormtrooper you're going next to commander cody yeah i'll give you your weapon you just calm down i'll give you your weapon soon um this one am i gonna open this one no nah, i want to I'll, I'll open that one later don't worry i will i will uh, because I want to wrap up. This, oh man, Jedi. Dang it. Um, this came behind uh, the uh, the child pop vinyl. Got it for her. She wanted me to take it out of the box, so it was kind of neat. Uh, the placard card cardboard thing that came out, uh, came with the pop vinyl. Uh, now, Daddy also got this. <laughs> this is the child. This is the big child, not an exclusive, a big pop. The t what do they call it? The ten inch pop, something like that. I don't know. If that's ear to ear, ear tip to ear tip. But wow! So we got the big pop, baby Yoda, and the small one. We're not gonna get the variants, that's for sure. 
But, uh, ooh, I don't want to, I mean, I would love to have this out of the box, but it's, it's definitely going to stay in the box. It's so big. I do not get, you know me, I haven't shown you a lot of pops over time. Because uh, they just, they, they take up a lot of space. They stack well, and I know where this one's going to go, uh, but, uh, wow. Wow. Uh, it's a big pop. It's the big, the child. Uh, there's also others available we're not going to get. Um, I just, cause I can't, I just couldn't be a completist. It was kind of sad. Uh, and even the ones that I'd really like to have, I just think twice. I'm like, I don't know. It's just, it, pops, I probably should never have started down the path for. And I did, uh, unfortunately. And, and forever did it dominate my destiny. <laughs> um, eh, I don't know. I mean, they're nice to have. I just, I, I stopped largely after Rogue One. Rogue One, I think, was the last time, and then after that, it was pretty much just exclusives that I found that I thought were kind of neat. Uh, the Vaders, naturally, uh, and um, maybe... Oh, yeah, the Smuggler's Bounties, definitely. So, mm. But that is uh, that's pretty much it, people, um, for the past three weeks. This is what I've been accruing. This is what I now have to find places for. <laughs> Where's this gonna go? I gotta put that there. I gotta put this away. I gotta set that up. I gotta put this in here. Uh, but first, of course, I had to show it to you, uh, if only to, to let you know that uh, this is this is what I've been busy collecting and accommodating here. Uh, I, I'm very happy um, that that people have been getting a real kick out of uh, the pictures that I've shared of the uh, the play shop here. Um, you know, it's 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 fun to do. But what else am I gonna do with my time? So my spare time, I should say. Not that there's a lot of that. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and, uh, the Discord server is still up, live.perillo.com. Not a lot of activity, uh, necessarily. I, I don't expect there to be, because I think I may be the only Star Wars collector in there, primarily. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Man, what are you gonna do? Uh, there's something that I missed, you let me know. Uh, I'm active in social, of course, uh, Twitter and Facebook and beyond. Could I do a better job with these videos? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it's a law of diminishing returns. I need to upgrade my camera more than anything. That's probably the problem that I've been having with the live video here. I don't know what the, uh, the, what, what else is going on. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Thank you again uh, for, for following wherever you do, for still subscribing and, and, and paying whatever attention you do. Thanks for being a, a fellow fan of Star Wars with me uh, and uh, a general geek. General. Uh... I'm not private, obviously. Um, <laughs> I love you. Man, this beer was... I mean, it wasn't... I'm, it's not the beer that's talking. I, 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 I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the Force be with you. Always.